Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my vlog series, Creating Good Habits. But first of all, I want to say happy February because it's the best month the whole year for a couple reasons. First reason, it's my birthday. And I've told you this in a couple of vlogs, but I just thought I would remind you because number one, I love Starbucks. Number two, I like frozen yogurt a lot. So you give me both of those things, um, specifically a peppermint soy misto from Starbucks or chocolate with cookie dough toppings and hot fudge frozen yogurt, I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna love you forever. Well, February 17th, big day. That's the first thing. The second thing is Valentine's Day is coming up. Big day, spread positivity, love, and just kind of show the people around you, your support group, that you're caring of them, or that you're thinking of them, you care about them, and basically just to show them that you're there for them and you love them. So Valentine's Day is huge. Uh, third reason, we're about a month into cutting, we're about a month into vlogging, and we're about a month into West Coast Muscle. So those three things are going awesome right now. Those things are going great. And I just want to tell you guys um, how thankful I am for all of you, for the feedback, the positivity, even the negativity. I like the negativity or the constructive criticism. It's cool. So, but just thank you guys for everything. Um, so far, so good. Progress is looking awesome. So I can't wait to see what the month of February brings to us to make it a good month. So today's lesson on creating good habits is very, very important. And it's very planned, very simple, and it's surround yourself with people who are gonna make you a better person. So it's Friday, 7 a.m. We're here at the rec. It's dead, it's empty, and we're about to hit big arm day. Uh, I'm gonna start switching things up with my workout routine. So I was on Jay Cutler's uh, Living Large, which is on bodybuilding.com if you want a good workout routine. I was doing that for about six, eight weeks. And then um, now I'm gonna start switching up my workout routine, doing my own kind of thing. So for these next couple weeks, I already, I already started this week, it's called isometric workouts, which is where you, you hold the position of your workout for three seconds um, at 90 degrees, and then you do a full rep. So say bench press, you come down, you hold that um, 90 degree angle for about three seconds, do a full rep, do it for about six reps for four sets. I try to do about six reps for four sets of everything when I do isometric workouts. So um, <clears throat> that's what I'll be doing for the next couple weeks. And then I'll incorporate some of that explosion work in there. So uh, rebounds, um, <clears throat> drop sets, even supersets for some, um, some types of workout. And um, then after that, it's kind of like a six week program that I made up. We're just gonna go straight back to regular range of motion and um, <clears throat> see if I can improve my strength while I'm losing this, this weight. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing here for the next couple weeks. We're gonna do four sets of everything, six reps, all isometric workout. So start off with tricep workouts, close grip, dips, um, skull crushers, and probably a little bit of a rope pull down. And then we're gonna go straight to a um, bicep workout. So um, like I said, we're all gonna be, we're gonna be doing all um, isometric workouts on every single muscle we do today. Probably gonna hit a little bit of core later too. Yeah. Say she wanted head south, take her down the five. She said she wanted right now. Well, I must oblige. I got nothing but time, and I don't really mind giving you yours, but you know I gotta get mine. And if you wanna skip class, I won't make a peep. We can chill for the week at 34th Street. I got my vans laced up and my hoodie pulled tight. Catch a vibe with me. You know I'm always down to ride. Let's head south for the winter, ain't a sound for beginners. If you wanna get out, let's skip town for a minute. Yo, I'm looking so money like I'm in the OC. If you think I ain't a winner, you don't really know me. Let's head south for the winter. Ain't a sound for beginners. If you wanna get out, let's get down for a minute. Yo, I'm looking so money like I'm in the OC. If you think I ain't a winner, you don't really know me. Alright, so we just hit triceps. Now we're heading on to biceps. We're starting off with barbell preacher curl. And then we're gonna go to supinated, propinated, alternating biceps, and then or curls. And then um, some rope curls. And then we're gonna go with 
the set of 21s and maybe end with barbell curls. And then we're gonna hit core to finish up this one. From a next girl onto the next girl, she's so foreign and the is out of this world. Nowadays it pays to play cool, so I don't got much to say. You don't need to speak. So I'm trying to get back to about 150, 58 to 160 pounds, and maintain that weight for about another four or five weeks or so, and just try to lose that fat. So um, hopefully right now I'm around that range. So let's check it out really quick and see where I'm at. So this is four weeks in. And I'm at 150, 158. There we go. See that? Nice. So that's good news. Um, if I can maintain that weight and maintain the strength I have right now, or maybe even gain a little bit more strength, um, I will be extremely satisfied with those results. All right, so it's Friday evening. Hitting that two day today. Hit arms earlier. Did all isometric. Now we're doing legs. So all of today for legs is gonna be machine work, high rep, um, low weight, high intensity. So trying to hit legs twice a week now. Uh, I don't know, just switch it up a little bit, try something different. <laughs> On. It's the beginning of February and it's 75 degrees at night. This is why I go to the best school in the United States because everybody's happy. It's great atmosphere, great weather. Um, plenty of people are motivated here to live that healthy lifestyle socially, physically, mentally. Uh, you got a little bit of everything here at University of Arizona in Tucson. We're going to get some cardio in, 300 yards, uh, that's 12 laps. It's about all I can handle right now. So hopefully uh, this is something I'm trying to get used to is working my cardio back up uh, for swimming. Yeah. Wait, so you, you, won't, you, didn't, you didn't listen to anything but EDM or you only I don't listen to EDM. I mean, I don't know who listens to that stuff. No, like during, during the workouts. I listen to classical music. Like, Mostly like Hootie, Mozart, Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, what? Hootie and the Blowfish? Hootie and the Blowfish, definitely. Um, get some Beethoven in there, really gets the uh, blood uh, blood pumping. I'm kind of like an old Miley Cyrus kind of a fan, like the Hannah Montana stage. I That's mean, I, gets me going. I mean, I just love Wrecking Ball. I mean, you can, you can dance to it, you can party to it, you can work out to it, you can cry to it. Dude, I could not have said it better, let me tell you. I, I couldn't have either, it's, it's from... <laughs> So we're in Scottsdale, it's Saturday morning and we're just getting ready to go to the Phoenix Open. I got my Starbucks, of course I have my Starbucks. And uh, we're going to my friend Grant's house first, uh, big group of us, and we're gonna mob over to the Phoenix Open. So we're here at the Musel Manor. Welcome. It's freaking outrageous, there's Annie in the back, she said hi. So, oh you already know I'm vlogging, of course I'm vlogging. <laughs> No, these guys, these guys over here want to be in the vlog, so we're going to get them in on the vlog. Yes. So we're all pre-gaming the Waste Management Open right now, Woo. so uh, probably be here for a couple hours beforehand. Find your meaning, it's fucking like, it's like a breath of fresh air. So breathe it in. So I just got to say real quickly, um, today, the waste management opens today and just kind of being with everybody beforehand kind of goes hand in hand with what today's lesson, what this lesson is about is being grateful for the people around you and surrounding yourself with people who are going to make you 
a better person and going to impact your life in a positive way. So everybody here today is seriously just a good friend of mine and it's a great start to the month so far. So uh, surround yourself with people that are going to make you happy, that you can have a good time with, that are going to be there for you when you need them the most. Yo, you guys, what do you think about the manor? What do you think about the manor? Dude, the manor is unreal. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, it's shit. beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah? The only thing better is your vlogs. Absolutely. You know what? I'd agree with that. So I've been getting all this positive feedback lately from these guys. Kind of goes hand in hand with my vlog lesson. You know, surround yourself with people who are going to make you a better person. Surround yourself with people who are going to impact your life in a positive way. These two guys right here, Corbin and Riley, good dudes. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Twitter. Hey. hey. So we're going to go to the waste management here in a second. Check it out. All right, so we're on the way to waste management open. Squad's rolling it, deep right here, so. Let's get it, baby. Let's fucking get it. Waste management open. You already know. You already know. So it's a beautiful day here at the Waste Management Open. Tons of people and um, seriously good times. So I've never seen so many good looking people in the same place at one time in my whole entire life. I thought I said that when I when I came to college and went to U of A, but now I'm proven wrong. Hey, luscious blonde head chick staring right at me. I'm sad to say that she ain't making me happy, but she sure is attractive. <laughs> Yo, where'd you get this hat at? So, I went to the Ford stand, right here, you see that? They said, if I lease a car within anywhere from one month to a year, they'd give me this hat. So I made that promise. There we except, go. Except that's never gonna happen. <laughs> never, not once. So we're gonna head back to uh, the house. Maybe stop by In-N-Out. It's cheat day, by the way. Uh, big cheat day, so. Three by three, baby! Three by three, baby! Who you asking, but? Fucking tragic, yeah, that's just ten people. <laughs> Somebody's outside of my sunroof. This place is crazy right now. Okay, so cheat day, very, very important day because I get to eat one of these marvelous creations right here. And I think I'm gonna go with um, either the Oreo Dream Machine right there, the chocolate chip cookie dough or right back there the Hershey's chocolate bar cheesecake so I don't know I'm excited cheesecake factory cheat day all I've been looking forward to all week all right so we decided to go with the chocolate Hershey uh, cheesecake dream I don't know cheesecake dream machine whatever the hell this thing is and then this is like a cookie dough cheesecake both from the cheesecake factory I had a gift card so I decided I was gonna use it for this cheat day. I'm really excited. If it ain't me, then baby, what are you after? There ain't no sense in trying to live in the past, cause it's probably gonna stay the same exactly. I hate the way I've been now. All right, Kale really tried to conquer the cheesecake, but the <laughs> cheesecake absolutely kicked Kale's ass. No, no doubt about it. He couldn't resist, but he could resist, cause he was too soft to finish at all. <laughs> You don't understand how dense the cheesecake was. Oh my gosh. A little uh, pump during the Super Bowl over here. Whole crew's over here just getting a pump, you know? <laughs> Super Bowl prediction Patriots 35, Falcons 28. Oh man. So, it's a bold move. I, it's, it's, it's a bold, bold move, but I just gotta prove to you guys this is before the game. I started. I promise you, I'm not lying to you guys. That's my prediction. All right, so great, exciting news on West Coast Muscle. Our next order is coming in within the next couple weeks, and it consists of this sweatshirt, but in black, a t-shirt, and a tank top. So that information on purchasing uh, those designs, the apparel, is located on my Instagram page and on the West Coast Muscle Instagram page. And if you're interested in being featured in our website, which is still under construction, for about a month or so, but if you're interested in being featured on the website, we're gonna be shooting, like I said, in Tucson, and a lot of that is gonna be um, put on our uh, West Coast Muscle official website. So pretty excited for the, all that good stuff to happen. If you're interested, or if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the apparel, about the designs, um, DM me, DM the West Coast Muscle Instagram account, follow them. So that's the update on West Coast Muscle. Thank you guys again for watching. 
subscribe, like, actually, you don't have to do that. I hate saying that. Enjoy the videos. I hope you had a great weekend. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. It's like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, this was